Well, Lisa, this is another one of those uh, down trees that we talked about just around the corner from where we were a minute ago on Peachtree Street. And we actually have an eyewitness of this tree falling and uh, the battle that she uh, waged with the wind on her front porch. This is Deborah Green. Deborah, describe what, ex what you experienced. Oh, it was very uh, frightening. Uh, and it happened in a split second. The wind was very high. It wasn't low at all. And when it came in, it was like uh, I was coming out my door to move the cushions off my chairs on the porch. And I couldn't come out the door. The wind was so high. So I went back in the, inside. And then I watched that tree across the street over there. I watched it come down. How scary was that? Oh, it was real scary because I, I didn't know whether the whole tree was going to come down or what really was going to happen. And you see how it landed up out in the uh, middle of the street. So I, I immediately called 911. And they told me that they would be out there as soon as they could. Trees and limbs were everywhere, down everywhere. And so they did come. And I guess they will be back. The power company has been here. And uh, they'll be back, though. So we got the assistance, I mean, and I thank them for coming out because they know that the uh, lands are, are hot. Yeah, yeah. And they told us that. Well, I'm, I'm glad you didn't come outside and you oh, stayed inside. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And as you can see, the power line is down. And she and her neighbor uh, are also without power. A lot of folks in this uh, neck of the woods are. And hopefully Alabama Power can get them back up and running very soon. For now, we're live in Atala. John Papke, WVTM 13.